We're joined up by Josh Danzig, publisher of Oriette Magazine, discussing this week's six picks for your weekend entertainment. And at first, we've got the, be the Festival Von Fuca. That's right. This is the middle of festival season. And if you're looking for a brand new festival out in Slidell, you'll want to check out this weekend. Festival Von Fuca in their inaugural year. They're going to have great music by Big Frida, Sonny Landreth, and others. Food will also be fantastic. They're going to have such specialty items as crawfish beignets and, of course, boiled crawfish. There will also be an art market with T-shirts, jewelry, and more. Tickets are only $10. Kids under 12 are free. You can also get a VIP founder's ticket. Features a special viewing area and more. This is a brand new welcome festival to the Slidell area. And up next, we've got the Congo Square Rhythms Festival. Sunday is Super Sunday, the only day of the year when the Mardi Gras Indians parade other than on Mardi Gras Day. But if you want to catch Mardi Gras Indians perform live, live music all weekend long, you can head on over to Congo Square for the big rhythm, Rhythms Festival. They're going to be doing a battle of the Mardi Gras Indians as well as performances by Rebirth Brass Band and Tanya Boyd Cannon. They'll also have African dance troops and a band from Cuba who's supposed to be really good. This event is free. But the organizers are requesting no outside food or drinks. And third this week, the Glass Menagerie at Le Petit Theater. Well, speaking of festivals, the Tennessee Williams Festival coming up is going to be celebrating its 30th anniversary. You can get a taste of Tennessee Williams this weekend over at Le Petit Theater with the beginning showing of the Glass Menagerie. It's going to be showing performances Thursday through Saturday nights at 7.30 and then a Sunday matinee at 2.30. Really a great, great, powerful play that is an American classic. It will be performing at Le Petit through April 3rd. All right, and here are the rest of our Way at Magazine six picks. Treasure Chest, Crawfish Boil on the Lake, Julia Jump, and River Shack Tavern's St. Baldrick's Day Party. So if you want to find out more about these events, you can always log on to our website at WDSU.com or pick up this month's edition of Way at Magazine. Josh Danzig, publisher of Way at, thanks so much for joining us. Well, people in East Texas were not the only ones whose homes were washed away during the recent rains. Animals lost their homes, too. In fact, volunteers now say that they are taking care of these baby beavers who were only two days old when they were found. In fact, they still had the umbilical cord attached. The volunteers say that they will stay at the Wildlife Center for two years before they can be released into the wild. Look how precious. I mean, there are so many displaced animals as a yeah. result of, this, of the flood. It's really sad. And, and people as well. I mean, I was in Honkatuli yesterday and homes completely destroyed. I mean, everything is ruined. Furniture. It's so it is. You walk in there and, and it's, just, it's just, you know, the foundation and the brick and stuff. So prayers to all of those yeah. affected by the floodwaters. And, of course, a little more rain today, but hopefully better news later. Yeah, I mean, not, not too much rainfall today, uh, fortunately. I mean, we're looking at some light rainfall across the area right now. Take a look at the uh, satellite and radar picture. Now, the strongest storms are offshore. I do think a couple of those could drift a little bit onto the south shore. We're seeing some light rain down there close to Dulac right now. And then a couple of light showers are up there by Hammond on the north shore. But, I mean, they are very light. So, as we go through the rest of today, we're looking at about a 30 or 40 percent chance of rainfall. You can see some of those light to moderate showers starting to move in close to to Homa and Galliano, so don't be surprised to see some raindrops down in those areas really within the next 15 to 20 minutes or so. Here's a look at the current conditions over in Kenner right now, 67 degrees and uh, rain's being reported, but didn't see any rain on the radar there. It might just be a little bit of mist being reported over there in Kenner. Mid to upper 60s currently across the area. Calm winds now, but breezy later as the front moves through. We'll keep a 40% chance of rainfall through 1 p.m. after that will dry out and it becomes chilly tonight. That's right. So if you're headed out to an Easter egg hunt, just grab a raincoat. It'll be all right, folks. Have a good day, everybody. We'll see you back here in the morning at 6 o'clock.